Wow, wow the, the aquarium. aquarium. Whoa. Wow, Brody. Look, so many fishes. <laughs> oh, a diver. Sam, is the coral underwater plants? This? Corals are not plants. They're all marine animals. <laughs> Let me tell you the story of corals. What are corals? They are commonly seen in tropical oceans. Although they look like colorful plants, corals are in fact marine invertebrates. Some corals are hard, some corals are soft. Instead of moving around like other marine animals, corals inhabit on rocks, which is why people often mistake them for plants. Many succulent plants consist of a group of flowers, just like corals. And the dandelions we see in the spring are also like corals. The furry ball is in fact hundreds of feather-like seeds. Hmm, but we still don't understand. You see, the coral is actually a colony of polyps. Some of these polyps look like antlers, some look like beehives, some look like branches. A polyp will grow an exoskeleton near its base. Over generations, polyps form corals. Corals form a coral reef. The idea of replicating a single unit of certain elements and then forming new groups is very common in parametric design. Parametric design? Yep. The idea is used mostly in architecture, like the vessel in New York, the Seed Cathedral at Shanghai Expo 2010, and the Forest Green Rovers at Echo Park Stadium. Uncle Roger, that story is amazing! Amazing! So, it all started from one small polyp, and then it keeps on growing into one big coral! And the coral becomes a big coral reef! Brody, that's amazing! There's more amazing stuff coming up. Kids, let's go make a cool coral world. Let's go. Hello, everyone. I'm uh, Jensen Moreno, and I'm an artist from the Philippines. Nature inspired me so much. Being an artist, I grew up in a country with so many beautiful sceneries and actually a lot of my paintings as well uh, were inspired by those sceneries and the experiences I had. So uh, it's a bit challenging actually to live uh, in the city with two little kids. Even with, with a teenager actually because as much as possible you want to expose your kids uh, close to nature so they can experience uh, everyday life in, in a, that kind of setting. And to solve that issue, we sometimes plan uh, like every weekend to go to the park and they will see some uh, of the animals over there. Oh, what is this? Turtle. Oh, a turtle. another turtle. Can we put this on the... A frog. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Hi, Jess. Wow. Oh, you want to eat it? <laughs> Looks like Jessie's so hungry. What is it, Jess? It's a cherry. <laughs> Oh, we have a bunch of cherries on the basket. Oh, mommy will get one cherry. One for Jesse and one for mommy. Now, if we have two cherries, like this, we can add more cherries, right? Can we get another one? Can we have more cherries? Yes? Let's add one more cherry. Oh, wow, look, we have so many cherries. You can eat all of them. Oh, what is this? What is this? <laughs> what is this first? Can you tell me what that is? Yum, 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 yum. Can you put it in? Uh, can you point where it is in the basket? Okay. 
Look, I, mommy put it here. It looks like a tree. Yeah? Does it look like a tree? Huh? Yes, looks like a standing tree. Mm. Hey tree, please stand for me. Uh-oh. <laughs> the tree won't stand. Hey tree. Now, here we have a bunch of those little trees. Wow. And when you put it together, it looks like a big tree. Okay, now I have something here. What is that? It's hard now. What is it? It looks like little trees as well, but without leaves. Uh-oh. Little things like this with the same shape can go together. Is it nice? Oh, nice purple things go together. <laughs> so, when these little things go together, yeah, we can design it using the fabrication design. Yes? Okay. Now, these little things are actually looking like corals. Do you want to make one? Okay, let's make a blue one. Okay, look, we have a blue color clay over here, and mommy's making a ball. Can you make a ball for mommy too? Yes? I have one, two, three, four balls. And now mommy has five balls. Okay. Okay, Jesse, can we make a worm, a small worm, and roll it on the table like this? Look, mommy has a little worm over here. And I'm going to use a knife to cut in half. Mommy has one little Y, letter Y. Jesse, does it look like letter Y? Wow, yes. Can I make another one? Make another worm, a small worm. <laughs> oh, the worm, the worm is crawling, the worm is crawling to Jesse. Oh, okay. Go back, worm. Oh, what do mommy have here? When we put together ah! <laughs> letter Y's, I have three letter Y's, it looks like <laughs> Looks like what? <laughs> In your nose. Looks like corals. Okay, Jesse. Let's press another ball. And let's put it together. Good job. And can you press it more with your finger? Press one more time. And put it here together. Let's make all the little balls together. And another one. <laughs> another ball. Okay. Can you see this? So many choo <laughs> choo. Okay, so that's what we're going to make. Which color do you want? We have purple and green and blue and white which one and green one green one can you take the green one yes shall we make little balls okay let's use the tool here now let's use this tool can you make it can you try? Okay, please get a tool. Get your tool and press. Jesse, you want to cut? Okay, Jesse, can you cut it, please? Yes. 
on the side. Let's cut it on the side. So it will look like a little flower. Okay. Another two, poke a hole, choo choo. Can you make another ball for mommy, please? Jesse, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Oh! <laughs> Jesse, would you like to put this on top? Jess, can we put this on the stone? Not this stone. On the rock. Let's put this on the rock. Huh? Where's the letter Y? Oh, here. Let's put this. Okay, Jess, let's go put it on the sea. Wow, looks nice. Well, how about that big fish? Let the big fish swim. Yes, friendly fish. Swimming, swimming. Little fish swimming. Then the big fish. Oh, it's not a little fish. <laughs> it's a really big fish. Yes. So, uh, Jazz actually likes to press a lot on her artwork over here. I think she wanted to try to build something big. And because at home, she's always playing with her Lego and she's always trying to build a house or build something really tall. <laughs> So I think she's trying to make it really big and tall as well. And especially, it's amazing for a three-year-old to get the instructions quite quickly. Uh, normally, the, those tools uh, yeah, are used by older kids, but for her as a three-year-old, using those uh, tools are uh, with this type of play is already very, um, I would say, very convincing <laughs> as a parent. So. Uh, that is something that I think that is most important when you're fostering creativity to children. Show them how it is, but at the same time, let them. Let them enjoy and let them create and let them imagine and let them express their own thoughts and feelings in their creation and in the process. Part 1. What we will be using today. Hi boys and girls, today we will design our own corals using fabrication design. Remember, we are here to have fun, no need to rush. You can always pause the video when you need a break. Enjoy your creative adventure. Let's see what we have today. We have six colors foam clay, sculpting tools, cardboard seabed B, and foam stickers. Part 2. Create Corals Select a color of your choice and roll it into a strip. Fold it in half to create a U-shaped unit. Roll some more strips and make more U-shapes. Put the shapes together to form a small coral. I created many dots. You can also create any shape you like. Copy them and combine them into little corals. Part 3. Make corals with sculpting tools. Choose a color of your choice and roll it into a strip.
Use the sculpting tool to cut it into a Y shape and duplicate the Y shapes. You can find rocks from your home or garden and attach the coral shapes on the rock. You can also use tools to make more shapes. I use my tools to make flower shapes and put them together to make a coral. Part 4. Display Corals Assemble the cardboard according to the matching colors. Insert cardboard seabed B into the diorama. And stick foam stickers onto the yellow area of cardboard seabed B. Display the corals on the cardboard seabed bead. 